Well, we're out here. I'm going to pick some ear corn today. See, we still got corn. New idea, two row, wide row ear corn picker. Yeah, we're picking narrow rows with it. But tractor is dead as a doornail. So I guess we're going to get some jumper cables. Oh, wait. That's with the jumper cables. So we're going to let it sit here and charge for a while. It is charging. I can watch the needle move. Barely. But I guess I'll go walk up to the barnyard, leave my truck out here, and get some other stuff ready to go for grinding cattle feed. But we'll get to it. Anyone want to take bets on if the 1940s Farmall A starts to pull the gravity wagon of ear corn? Choke it, little throttle, always pull that up. You gotta turn the fuel on. <laughs> running this gravity wagon out that's the one we like to use to grind out of it's the best flowing one it's the right height for the grinder and it holds just over two full loads so we can fill up the feed wagon and have a little bit of extra left in the grinder but running it out to the field Really nice part about using the little tiny farm all a is I was able to pull this wagon all the way up here, get so close to this that I literally just unhooked it from there, pushed the tongue over, and it hooked straight up to the ear corn picker. Now I don't have to mess around with backing up in the 14 and getting out five times to try to get that hole lined up to hook it up because that wagon doesn't have an extendable tongue like some of them. Now we just pull this up out of the way and it'll pull the wagon back up once we actually get it full. Always follow the proper shutdown procedure. Come over here, shut the gas off, then shut that off, then unhook the battery. That way you got plenty of battery and you don't flood it. Now let's see if the 14 starts. It's been on there for, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. It should fire right up. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, we don't have very many voltages. Oh, it was just enough. Hey, that's all we needed though. Once it gets run and it's a good running tractor, for some reason it just drains the batteries, but only sometimes. Like we unhooked the batteries normally, but we forgot to this time. Yeah, yeah, we should put a shut off on it. I don't feel like it. Okay, so I let this warm up for a minute. First gear, high range, TA up. That's a good speed to pick the ear corn at. It's warm enough, we shouldn't have to worry about there being ice and anything. It should have all thawed out by now. Just in case there was some water in the ear corn picker. We won't have to worry about that today, I hope.
but I'm going to get lined up with this row. I'm going to get started picking, and then I'll get you guys some video. I got to remember where you line up the tire with this one. I think you just line it up right down the row. Maybe just a little bit off to one side. See how that corn lines up there? It pushes it out just a little bit. But as long as you stay good on the row, you don't knock any down, and it does a pretty good job. So, throttle it way down. Running 570 RPMs on the PTO. I'm just easing the lever in right now. There we go. See, that was a nice ease in for it. I'm just gonna let it sit here and run for a few seconds. I don't hear any weird noises coming out of it. Everything appears to be spinning. No hammer, clutches, hammering. Then we're gonna, see that knocked it down 30 RPMs. I'm not gonna go all the way up to the full thousand that it should be running at. And this is based on the 1000 shaft, this is 540, but when you're running the 1000 shaft at 1000 RPMs, the 540 is running at 540. We're probably just gonna go to 700. Everything seems to be happy at that. I might give it a few. Ah, uh, that might be seven. Oh, so that's 790. There's just a missing number in there, line. Yeah, okay, 800 sounds good then. Just kind of run the old equipment at whatever it sounds good at. And you can see all that corn going on up in there. So I'm gonna get to doing this and I'll get the GoPro out. I got it right there. And I'll get you guys some video out on the air corn picker. Apparently trying to get stuck out here. It is sloppy over here. Man. I want to turn around on this end row. Luckily I got a diff lock in that thing. Stomped on that so that way both tires sit, spin because one of them, the diff was letting it just one tire spin. 
and I wasn't moving. I stomped on the diff lock though and it grabbed and pulled it up out. But I thought I better get out and make sure I don't have a flat tire or something dragging on the picker or the wagon because it was pulling awful hard. But I guess it's just that sloppy with the frost coming up out of the ground. Oh, this ain't gonna take long to fill. We're doing pretty good. Probably a third of the way full. And we did four rows, just one round. So we're gonna go do another couple rounds. All right, so uh, something broke. Something got jammed and then I sheared a shear bolt off, I think on the main PTO here, but I got enough to grind feed, so we'll look at it, but probably not gonna fix that right now. Probably gonna get feed ground because it's kind of getting late and the cows need to eat tomorrow. So I'm just heading back across the field. I'm gonna have to pull this wagon up on some pretty dry ground for the A to pull it out of here, but that won't be a problem. Ah, well, got enough. All right, so I found the problem. Chains came off the sprocket. You can see it's supposed to be on this one down here. So it's dangling down and it just got bound up. And rather than the slip clutch just hammering, for some reason it broke the shear bolt that goes in there. But that's not a big problem. Just take this chain apart, get it wrapped back around there. Maybe tighten it up a little bit, put a half link in, or take a link out and put a half link in or whatever we need to do. Or maybe it'll just go back on there and be fine for another year of picking. And then put a new shear bolt in and we'll be good to go. But like I say, I'm not gonna worry about that. You can see there's corn coming up out of the top of the wagon. I would've liked to pick a little more just to grind a whole bunch, but this'll be enough for now need to get it ground before dark so i'm gonna hook the a up to it and then we're gonna go up and grind some cattle feed working the little a i know that's probably 250 200 bushel of ear corn once we get over these little bumps here i'm gonna grab another gear I'm not driving all the way up to the shed in first gear. That's just entirely too slow. But I don't want to be trying to shift in mud either. I don't know if you guys are aware, this thing doesn't have like synchros, so it doesn't really go into gear all that easy. But so all you do is you gotta be fast. I'm probably going to get third gear before we get up there, but we got a little hill here. Going down the hill is a good time to get third gear. Okay, so the little A did it. Got it up here. Nice side hill for grinding. But that's probably where I'll leave you off with this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Drop a comment down there. Let me know what you think of the old equipment. Yeah, I know we don't have hoods and it's not all nice and fancy, but gets the job done. But hope you guys enjoyed watching and as always, have a good one.